everybody. Um, while while uh, facilitation works on a few things, I'm gonna just start soapbox here. They um, they suggested that we take just a few minutes to start everybody thinking about one of the agenda points, which is to continue working on the strategic plan. Um, and so the, we had a freshman session this morning. Um, some people showed up, and we tried our best to organize all the work that was done last Sunday into goals, strategy, or goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics, and um, and then came up with this document. And the way that it currently looks is it's broken out into objectives and strategies. It didn't actually turn out there was a lot to go into tactics, or they most things seem to be strategies. Um, and then we there was ten relatively clear goals that came up, and then we actually started trying to like suggest some ways that objectives could fit within those goals. Um, so I, I didn't have a ton of these. I'm going to go try and make some copies and bring them back so everybody does have a copy of this for later. But um, I wanted to just mention that and hand these out and people can start reading over them. Um, the, just I'll read off, I won't the objectives, um, but the 10 kind of overarching goals that came out um, were influence the Virginia General Assembly, Promote electoral campaign reform. These aren't in a, aren't in an order. These aren't. It's not like these are prioritized. That would be something we would look to do as a part of the GA. But influence the Virginia General Assembly. Promote electoral campaign reform. Grow the movement. In, in, improve internal structures and increase community clout. Spread consensus-based direct democracy. Restore civil liberties. Promote economic justice and advance human rights. Increase community independence and self-sufficiency. Stop home foreclosures end corporate personhood, and affect social change through education, and get money out of politics. Um, so, so basically, um, those are broad ideas. Um, what we would try and do tonight probably is go through those goals and see if those actually resonate with the GA, possibly try and do some of that with objectives, um, actually perhaps cut some of these from the list if they aren't priorities for us. Because um, 10 goals is kind of a lot of goals to be working with um, for the year. And um, and then break out into possibly smaller groups, which is what the facilitation group is suggesting, so that they can take the objectives that we suggested and fiddle with those and move those around and cut things and add things to larger, broad goals. Um, possibly, and then also potentially prioritize what are what is our top goal. Um, or what is our, do we want to break it into quarters and say for the first quarter, what are our three goals that we want to focus on? What is for second quarter, what are our three goals that we want to focus on? Do we even want to like think past this first quarter? And as a result, do we maybe want to scrap everything with the things we want to work on in this two month period and do the whole process again or do something different? So, um, anyways, I'll pass some of these around. There's a couple of I think. And while we're doing this, I do want to take a look over it. Um, it'll be, it'll be so, thanks. So we'll be going back to ghosts a little bit later towards the end of General Assembly. Right now, this is a point for soapbox, for conversation. We're going to try to keep a tight time cap. Um, we're working towards this General Assembly being closed. I'm shooting to finish it at 8.30. So um, hopefully we can finish before then. But if we are able to keep this under three and a half hours, that'll be um, that'll be a pretty big accomplishment compared to a lot of General Assemblies. So these times up here, I want you guys to think of these as <clears throat> deadlines, not necessarily start times. I encourage you all to help me keep this as fluid and as moving and as productive as possible. So this is the point for Soapbox. If anyone has anything that they want to that they want to put out there, that they want to communicate, that they want to speak on, this is your this is your platform. So everyone has three minutes. And after that, we're going to go into informals, informal proposals. Or I'm sorry, work group announcements. Okay. Um, yeah, you have a okay. Hi guys. Hi. Um, there's been some talk the past an hour or so about the question of corporate personhood. And what I would advise us to do is to be real careful with the language uh, in any resolutions that we make regarding that. And the reason I say that is, and this sounds kind of crazy, but at some point, especially in you young people's lifetime, you're going to be dealing probably with some artificial intelligences 
and you're going to have to make some decisions about whether or not they are persons or not. It's coming. I'm pretty sure it's a question of when, not if. So the only advice I have with regard to corporate personhood maybe is to stick to that particular issue, whether or not these corporations are persons, and to not go too far afield from that in the language at this point because we don't really know what's coming down the road. And you guys are going to be facing some very interesting questions, I think, next 20, 30 years. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else at this time who feels called to speak at Soapbox? I would just like to say happy three-month anniversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, Okay. Uh, I, I just want to tell everybody uh, this is an election year, and I know uh, Occupy Richmond is a nonpartisan movement, and that's really <coughs> great because council elections are nonpartisan. Uh, in order to qualify to get on the ballot, you only need 125 signatures of registered voters in the district. You only have to be 18 years old, a non felon, and a resident of uh, the district in which. Uh, you're running, and uh, I think the best way to uh, change the laws is to make the laws. So uh, I'd like to encourage uh, anyone that's involved in Occupy to, to run for office and uh, change stuff up. Thank you. 125. Okay. Um, as of uh, the end of GA, I'm planning to drive to DC and be part of Occupy Congress until Wednesday morning. If anyone would like to come, I have enough gear in my car for two people, or we can stop by your place and grab whatever gear you need. Um, please come, find me after the meeting, or uh, during interim. I have a couple of things to say. One is I sent Will an email or a message about um, potential for storing some things free in a garage way out in Chesterfield, if that's of interest to the group, say the $80 per month. But it's way out. It's practically in Amelia, so um, that's something we can talk about this evening if that's an interest of the group. Also, I have some, I've been on the Occupy Congress list, sir. And they did came up with this pretty elaborate um, map and some specifics about the event that I printed out if anybody wants to take those. I have 23 copies. They're two pages, but gives a, a map of where the camping is, where all the events are going to be. And, oh, yeah. You want to take them? Uh, and then the third thing I had thought about was we were talking about prioritizing the goals that we came up with. Okay. Uh, came out with prioritizing the goals, and I know that um, Survey Monkey or there's some other similar survey type applications that we could use for free, where we can set them up, and you could say, okay, here's the you know like uh, in corporate personhood, people could evaluate that on a scale of one to ten. That would help us really um, narrow down the priorities, not just what they are, but how important they are overall. Some uh, relative weighted values to those as well. Hi, Jennifer. Does anyone else feel called to speak this time? No? Right, wonderful. Okay, moving along. Okay, so welcome to the General Assembly. <clears throat> um, let's see. In order to start, I'm going to introduce the facilitation team. My name is Megan. I'll be facilitating. <clears throat> My responsibility here today is to be as subjective as is humanly possible. I'm going to say that I am human and that I do have a bias and that I don't think there's anything wrong with that but uh, admitting that out loud, but I'm going to try to be as objective as possible here today. Um, so also we have a, Isaac is going to be doing, um, let's see, we're gonna, we have uh, Vanessa as well, and Isaac's going to be doing Stack Heap, so he's going to be the person who's noting the order of hands raised. <clears throat> also, um, Isaac's going to be, um, we have Jeremy doing Scribe, and he's going to be recording everything that happens here today, all decisions consensed. 
think that's come to some consensus. And uh, Vanessa's going to be time keep there in the back. And temp check. Um, and temp check. So um, let's see, at this time we're going to do, oh, also um, I'd like to introduce the hand signals just in case. Is there anyone here new today that feels that we need to go over the hand signals or are we all familiar? Maybe we should review just in case. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> is there anyone that would like to introduce the hand signals? A little more formally than I could. No? Okay. All right. Basically, we have temp check, so we're all aware. I like it. I don't like it. And stand aside. Um, if a discussion is taking place and we feel like it needs to get back on track or somehow it's gone out of process, there is point of process. Point of process is not to be abused. Um, it's easy to log jam a conversation by throwing a point of process, but you want to keep point of process as to the point as possible. If something is way off track, then that's the occasion for point of process. We also have clarification question, which is also not to be abused. That's not an opportunity to put out a formal proposal or totally sidetrack the whole consensus <clears throat> based decision making process. Point of, um, I'm sorry. Clarification question is if you sincerely don't understand something or if there is um, like a contradictory date or something. Um, I'm sorry, that would be point of process. Um, so that's another thing. Going back to point of process, if there's something, if there's some fact or some information or some date or something contradictory that you know of that is that goes against what the proposer is trying to say, you could say point of process, hey, we already have something scheduled for that date. So, that's information. Thank you. Point of information. Um, point of information. We already have something scheduled for that date. So, I like it. I don't like it. Stand aside. Um, point of process. Clarification question. Um, and then, point of information. Hold up. Um, I've got a fact that you guys need to know. And then, um, also, roll along. Keep going. Very important in General Assembly. And then, um, am I missing anything? Block. Oh, and last but not least, speak up. And of course, the ultimate is block. And blocks are only used in the most dire circumstances. They're very serious and they're very grave. And it's very important to us that we get everyone's voice and participation in the General Assembly. That's what it's really all about. And so block means um, I'm not going to do this if this continues. I'm going to leave the General Assembly. So it's, we feel that strongly about it. And that kind of holds the whole thing when we revisit. Okay, so what? What? Mayday. 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 And our breathing, we come back to ourselves, and remember who we are and why we are here as individuals and together. All right, so now it's time for informal, oh, I'm sorry, work group announcements. <laughs> <laughs>